Hi everyone, I'm Scott from Sharky's Greenhouses and Beat Your Neighbor Fertilizer, and today we're on location. Uh, one of our customers came in and talked about how beautiful her flowers, so we asked her, hey, can we come check them out? So we're at Jeff and Diane's house, and this is just an absolutely beautiful setting here on Morgan Lake. This is up in the Wasaki area, and uh, they said, yeah, come on up and, and come check out our flowers. So that's what we're going to do, and it's, it's just absolutely stunning, this setting. So you can see that the lake is behind us here, and uh, the beautiful log cabin setting and she's got some beautiful uh, planters, some, some big planters, and we're just gonna go through a little bit and talk about what's in them and maybe some struggles that she's had, and so these really turned out nicely. So in this, this is a larger planter, and it's in a lot more sun, it's doing a little bit better than the other ones, so I'm just gonna say that right off the bat, is it's doing, uh, it's a little bit bigger, there's just a little bit more growth. But just to go through this, what's all in this mixed combination is there's there's petunias, some of the way petunias that are mixed in here. There's some uh, some blue lobelia trailing through. There's some dahlias over on this side and uh, this big tall one. We love this one. This is the salvia. This one is from Proven Winners and this this is just one of the number one uh, flowers for the you know the hummingbirds or the pollinators, the, the bees and the butterflies. They love this uh, blue salvia. And then off the front here, this is called Dorianthus and it does get, it's a beautiful trailing uh, vining and it's kind of a thick leafed with that variegated leaf, but it also does get this little reddish to hot pink colored flower and it's really delicate flower and it, it hasn't started budding yet but it will but this will trail down and that little pink flower will start coming out so this one really looks good I, I love the combination she did a fantastic job with this but we're going to take a look at the other ones around her property so moving on to the second container we have uh, this is on the opposite end of the deck and it gets a lot more shade in this area but it's doing fantastic so when things are right you just keep doing what you're doing and you know the petunia is they like to be in that full sun, but they're doing well. The, they have nice green foliage, they have plenty of flowers, so things are right for this planter. And there, there are a lot of trees in this area, so it, it's not ideal, but it's doing fantastic. She's doing a great job. So I'm just gonna go through some of the things, uh, some of the plants that are in this one. So again, we have a lot of the petunias. I love this latte, and it has kind of that darker center in the flower. There's a few different petunias in here. Again, this Dorianthus that is trailing over. We have dahlias on this side that are really blooming. There's a lot of buds. And they're, with the dahlias, when, they, when they're spent, like this flower is here, you actually, you need to go through and, and cut those off and, and get rid of the flower. So and you probably will have to use a scissors when it comes to the dahlias. So you'll have to just go through and nip off these. But again, there are a lot of buds that are coming. So this dahlia has a lot of life going for it. This one is getting kind of spent. And I would go through and I would cut this off. And there's there are a lot of other buds coming along here on the salvia so there's there's a lot of life left to this one but just just some of the general cleanup that you'll need to do is especially with the salvia and the dahlias you'll, you'll have a little bit that needs to be cared for uh, on this planter the rest of it is looking great and you really there's really not not much care in the rest of the plants now this is their cabin, so they're not here every single day. So the fact that these planters look like this is remarkable. They're, they're only here a few days a week and they're doing a great job. And what they do is they will water heavily when they leave and then they're gone for a few days and then they're back and then they go through they take care of what they need to. Um, so they're, they're here a few days a week. And again, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a daily care kind of guy, but they're doing things right. The, the planters look fantastic and it just goes to prove that, yeah, you can have planters at your cabin. Bigger planters are great because it has that soil volume that it can draw from the moisture and you know, it just helps buy you some time. You know, when you have little planters or small hanging baskets at your cabin, it usually doesn't work. So I like the fact that, that they have these larger containers and it's just working for them. They're going through, they're fertilizing once a week with the Beat Your Neighbor fertilizer. They're they're properly watering and they're doing things right and it shows. So this hanging basket, Diane said is actually her favorite because she just had so much trouble in this area. So these, these birch trees here and they throw a lot of shade and she just couldn't figure out and couldn't get the right 
plants in this area that would thrive. And you can see these tuberous begonias and the lobelia are doing fantastic. So she was really excited about that. Uh, and it gave her that confidence of, you know, I finally got this, I got the watering right, I got the right plants in the right area. And that just really helped boost her confidence. And you can see that, you know, Normally, the, the lobelia likes the sun, but it's doing fantastic in this area. And again, when, you're, when you have something that's working, just go with it. So she's, she's got her watering and her fertilizing once a week with the Beat Your Neighbor fertilizer, and everything is working out right. And the setting, I'm telling you, this, the, the setting around this place, no, no wonder that they love spending time up here at their cabin on the lake. And you know, as we were shooting this video, we saw a mama doe deer that was, uh, kind of walking through these woods here and then all of a sudden a little fawn came out and it, it went up to mama and started nursing and it's like no wonder you love spending time up here it's just a beautiful backdrop and a beautiful setting and it's an additional when the flowers are looking great you can come to your cabin and the flowers are doing well hey, if you're liking our videos please be sure to give us a thumbs up and follow us on facebook and of course subscribe to us on youtube and you can also head on over to our beatyourneighbor.com website where we have our tips and tricks and blog articles there on plant care and of course our beat your neighbor fertilizer and that's all over at beatyourneighbor.com have a great day thanks for watching